I found a secret radio station by Arctic Spider. No one uses radio anymore, let's face it. We still listen to one or two stations for a car ride, but that's about it. No one gets their news or entertainment from radio shows. That's exactly what I was thinking when I got a portable radio last Christmas. But of course, I was too nice to say it. Thank you so much, I said slowly, trying to think of something to add. You know I like music. Strangely enough, the radio was all I had for entertainment when the internet went out last weekend. I don't know why I kept the radio that long, really. I turned the dial lazily. I was bored out of my mind, laying on my bed and holding the radio above me with my arms extended. There were hardly any stations even broadcasting. Staticky country music, boring. Christian music, I got enough of that every Sunday. Boring. Basketball game, not interested. When I turned it again, a little past 70 I believe, I heard a noise so jarring that I rolled over and set the radio down. It was followed by a little jingle, a section from some old waltz song. The static distorting the song and the out-of-tune piano sound put a feeling of discomfort somewhere in me, but I couldn't exactly place where or why. It was creepy, in an innocent but menacing way, like a music box in a horror movie trailer. I didn't like it, but I was too curious to turn off the radio. The jingle was followed by a few seconds of dull noise, just crackling static. Then there was a voice. It was a female voice, reading a list of numbers and random words, interrupted every so often by a bell tone. A voice spoke plainly and monotonously, but something in it sounded condescending, conspiratorial and vaguely mocking, like she was smiling while she spoke and had no real emotion. The whole thing freaked me out. The next day, I heard the same thing at the same time. Noise, song, same voice reading off numbers and nonsense words. It kept repeating for a week. The jarring noise woke me up last night. It never happened at night, only at 3.07pm every day. The voice came right after the noise this time, no song. She sounded different, distressed. I heard the shuffling of papers. D two, five, sailboat, seven, conifer, I- oh god, I hope they aren't listening. She took a breath. I pulled out my phone and started recording, in case I needed to reference the audio later. I did end up listening to it. Several times, in fact, but nothing is clearer for me. I referenced it to make this too. To make sure that I got everything right that she said. Okay. Twenty left. Okay. Listen. If there's anyone listening to me, please. Who am I kidding? No one's going to be listening to this. Uh, if there is anyone listening, I... Shit! Remember this. Um, Alpha 22. Not, not that. Remember this. A bird in the basket is worth 312 in the oak. Show me. Please, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to work for these people. I don't. I don't want to be here. I don't know what's going on. Please. 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 The broadcast ended. From then on, the radio station was just white noise. At the time of the usual broadcast, the noise went off and the song played, but there was no voice or bell tones, just silence. I turned the dial once and turned it back, and the station was replaced by loud crackling. I haven't heard anything else from it since. Please, guys, I don't know what's going on. I want to help that person with whatever is going on. But I don't even know if it's real. Or if it is. Where to start. <laughs>